Good day. I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I've had this a few years, use it once or twice, and it's the Cedar Summit Ultralight Hammock Single XL. Now this is 3 meters by 1.5 meters, weighs a magnificent 205 grams. Now I've got some actual hammock straps in there too, and I've got my tree straps with me. Now at the moment it's about 8 inches in length but it comes in a nice compression strap so you can just take it down smaller and smaller and smaller and like I said this has got the hammock straps in there too so it's probably the size of what's that two average size oranges or yeah my fist twice Now what I like about this is the same as the pro version, the compression strap, you've got the actual buckle from the hammock coming out there. And these are aluminium buckles to make it nice and light. The other end is closed off, but if we do open this all the way, put that way around, where is it? There it is. The actual top of it. We've got small repair patches, so which is handy. The actual hammock itself, I believe, is a 20D monofilament, they call it, so it's really super lightweight. There's my hammock straps, put them in there for now. Now you can see through this hammock where the actual material it's made out of so really it's not well they say it's not a winter one but if you've got a good under quilt you could use it in the winter if you want to I have added added should I say added a ridge line on it a structural one which I made myself so when I put it up you'll see it's a lot easier just to hook it up a tighter end and it's set at the right angle so Let's take them patches and put them in the pocket out of the way first. Now I did bring the tree straps with me, like I said. So looking at this. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the tree straps on, that bark feels a little bit soft. Let's put this back in the compression set first to keep it clean. Now this material it's made out of is slippy. Let's put it back on the pack for now. Now if you're gonna use trees where the bark isn't a hard bark, this is quite spongy and soft. Using the tree straps or the tree protectors is really a must. We need to look after nature and make sure we don't damage any of the trees. Now when I originally bought this hammock, I bought the hammock first and then I went and bought the Dyneema hammock straps. So I already had the normal hammock straps to go with the Pro. 
And these are super lightweight. About 10 feet in length. So it's going to give you plenty. Again, if you haven't seen it, you'll see a picture of a tree and an arrow. So that will go to your hammock on this side. And the arrow is pointing to your tree. And that will stop, the actual stop slipping. And the buckle on the tree straps or the tree protectors actually comes through here, turns and locks into place just there with the strap coming through here. So it's going to be nice and secure. Nice and simple, no messing around, no tying knots, that's it. Now before I pull the hammock all the way out, I'm just going to attach to one side where the actual buckle comes through. Again making sure, once it's come through here, the arrow is pointing towards a tree on top of the strap, not underneath. Now, I'll take the other end out of the compression bag. And it doesn't have to lay on the ground. Okay, make sure the buckle goes through from the bottom, out the top, with the buckle on top, with the arrow pointing towards the tree. Now these ones are a bit stiffer than the normal ones, with being the Dyneema. Nice and simple. Why well, is it nice and easy and quick putting it up? But like I said, 3 metres in length, which is 10 foot, by 1.5 wide, which is your 5 feet. You might pull that end up a little bit tighter. Now, I bought this a little bit higher than it normally was because the material this is made out of, it's got a bit more stretch to it and I don't want to drop right to the ground or get too close to the ground. So, I'll put doing this and now you can see how far it has stretched to the ground and it's just the right height for my feet to sit on the ground. Now, this is a little bit stretchier material Sitting this way, or laying back this way, just looking up at the clouds going by, nice and comfortable. And there's the structural ridge line. And again, because it's a shorter hammock, normally my head would be touching that, but because of the stretch to this, the ridge line is a lot higher up. And if you've never used a hammock before, the best way to lay one to get the flattest is diagonal. So my head will go this side for example, and my feet will go the opposite side. 
and you can choose either way in this one you put your head here or your feet there it, it doesn't matter it's whatever you prefer Oh, there you go. Normally I'd be on the hammock a little bit more, more centred. So this was a little bit higher, but because I'm looking at the camera and talking to you guys and girls, I moved over, but let's go over a little bit more. Now you see I've got a little bit of material here, I could have done a bit more, but fairly flat, nice and comfortable and with the material being what it is it's letting the breeze come straight through underneath so it is more of a summer hammock so you can just lay there and relax it's not a stealth hammock as you can tell by it being bright yellow but once you've got a nice under quilt on it or protector and your tarp over you could use it but I'd go for a different colour personally. So here, this is the end of the hammock. We've got the Dyneema strap here with double bar stitching in it. And that goes all the way through one side and back out the other. There's three rows of stitching to give it the strength at the ends. This little blue bit here, you push it right up to the buckle and that's also another way of stopping the buckle slipping in the night and this is twisted a bit but I don't know if you can see on top there there's a tree and there's a the arrow pointing up to the tree there and there's the tree strap it's gone through this top buckle out the bottom and just twisted it's nice and secure and there's the ridge line I put on it so as you saw, I didn't have to mess around adjusting either end. I disconnected it through here. And I'm actually using the buckle, not the strap, to hold it. And there's the arrow and the tree pointing up to the tree. And there's the other buckle there. And these are about a 50mm 2 inch tree straps. This is about 12 and a half, 15 mil in width. Adds very little weight to the actual pack itself. So that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this nice and quick video about the ultralight hammock from sea to summit. It used to be the lightest hammock in the world at one time, but since I bought it, I think You'll probably find another company's bought one out it's probably a bit shorter and smaller because this does come in a smaller length i think it's a nine foot in length so what's that that's 1.75 is it 1.7 uh, sorry 2.7 meters instead of the three which will be even lighter but now this is the extra large one it gives me more room yeah it's nice now since buying this they did bring an updated version out with slightly different buckles up here so when it closed it actually gripped around and held the strap from the bottom but I've been online to have a look and I can't find anywhere in Australia with any of these in stock so I don't know if Cedar Summit are still making them or not but if you could pick one up in good condition like I said this is four and a half five years old and the material hasn't perished it's still like it was when new excuse a plane flying over it's still in as good condition as it was when it was new so yeah even if you can get a cheap second hand one I think they're worth it they are I personally prefer a material that didn't stretch as much if I'm doing multi-day hikes so I'd want to be able to get in there and get a more of a flat lay and that'd be a bit more comfortable for me but if you do like the the give in a hammock this one is one to look at 
So, hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. And hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.